Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Corey. if you guys are new here. And in today's video, I am going to be doing a luxury handbag unboxing. I'm going to put a timestamp as to when I'm going to show the bag, but just a quick disclaimer. You guys know I don't do that many luxury handbag unboxings, and you guys know typically I tend to go for like more classic. But this time I went a little bit different just because it's a bag I've been eyeing specifically because of the way you carry the bag. But I went to Saks. And I really wanted this bag and I didn't get it the original time I saw it. And then I talked to my husband about it and basically my husband gave me the okay because he cares about my happiness. So I went to Saks and we got me the bag. And it is the Balenciaga Le Cajol bag. I don't know how to pronounce it. I'll write it on the screen. But it is the extra small one, which is actually pretty big, and I'm so glad that I got the extra small version. I have time and time again purchased bags that are way too large for me for my specific comfort level. I am only 5 feet tall, so huge bags. I feel like they swallow me up. Um, I have like the Telfar medium bag. It's too big for me for every day. The Givenchy, I have it in small, and oh my goodness, if you guys have seen the Givenchy bags, like... Even the extra smalls are kind of big. Louis Vuitton never full the medium. I feel like that's honestly too big for me. And then the one that's like the heaviest and biggest bag that I just should have gotten a really small one was the Gucci Dionysus bag. But this one, I feel like this is perfect for me. I love that it's a shoulder bag because that is more so like my style right now at the moment. But I also love the style. It's like grungy. I guess you could say that. And my favorite style of a handbag is definitely the croc and bow style. This specific bag I wanted specifically because of the hardware. So if you pay close attention to this bag, there is no gold or silver hardware on this bag. It is all black, matte black. And I just feel like it's super easy to pair whenever I have gold and silver jewelry because I do tend to alternate between my jewelry a lot. So I don't like having, and I do not like wearing bags that have mixed hardware with jewelry and stuff. I know that's like super picky, first world problems, but I just, for me, I don't like doing it. And so with this, I don't have that issue. This bag is probably not going to be considered a classic, but I do feel like this is something that I will like for a very long time, again, because of the size and the style. I know I hear a lot of people on YouTube say that they are like trying to find their style and I kind of already know mine. I like my outfits to be very solid colors. I'm not really a fan of like prints or stripes or polka dots or floral or anything. I like everything that I wear to be like a solid color. I tend to like monotone and my taste cup for color palettes is more on the dark neutral side. I know on YouTube, the aesthetic is like the light neutrals, like the light nudes. That's not really my style. I say as I have on like a cream shirt. But no, I like like dark browns. I love black. Black is probably my favorite color to wear. And I feel like a bag like this, because of the style, again, I can wear on like a casual day. And I can also dress it up because of the, the croc and bow style on it. Um, the original leg Kajal bag, I'm going to post it here, is more, I feel like a little bit more grungy than this. And I'm not like, my style is not super grungy, but it is more so like if you think of a brand, like how YSL is kind of like, it gives you like those dark and sleek vibes. I feel like I tend to like lean more towards brands like Balenciaga and YSL and stuff like that for like handbags. But I am really happy about this bag. I got it from Saks Fifth Avenue. There's no Balenciaga store here in Indianapolis. Surprise, surprise. If, if you're from Indianapolis, you probably already know like there's literally nothing here. And I'm someone, I grew up in Atlanta, Georgia, so I'm used to like Fifth Plaza and Lenox Mall, so, you know. But let me show you like the details of the bag. So I'm sure you guys have seen like different styles of this bag all over the internet which is also another thing too I never lean towards popular bags it's just this specific style though that I am really really in love with like I said the shoulder bag I didn't realize how much I love shoulder bags but for my size and because I'm a little bit thicker I don't like those like mini shoulder bags 
I like this one because it's a little bit longer and I can adjust how long it is with the straps right here. So if I wanted to make this come down on my shoulder like a little bit more where it is a crossbody, I could see like right here. I just adjusted the strap to make it a little bit longer. And then I can make it a little bit shorter, which it has the card holder right here. Oh, and it has like a zipper in the front of it. But you can put like pocket change and all that stuff right here in this little pouch. And then it has like a mirror, which actually I love the fact that the mirror is on the outside. So like you can constantly like check your teeth or your makeup or something. Because you know how like some people, if something's on your face, like they won't give you the heads up or anything. So you know how haters do. None of us are like that, are we guys? So the only con I really have to this bag is that I did notice that some of the Balenciaga bags, and I think it's like the larger sizes, do have a zipper on the back where typically that's somewhere I would keep my cell phone. This one doesn't have a zipper in the back or in the inside. So literally there's no pockets on the inside. It's just like room for your bag, but trust me, this is kind of small, but it's more than enough space for me. I don't carry that much stuff with me in my purse anyway. I kind of keep my lip combo, my cell phone, some chapsticks, some blotting papers and stuff, and whatever weapon of choice I have in my handbag. I just keep those things, but yeah. I also didn't see like a lot of reviews on this specific bag and you guys that's the first thing when I'm interested in a bag I typically wait months before I purchase it. The first thing I do is go to YouTube and I type in the bag and I look for videos based on the bag so shout out to everyone who's purchased a specifically a luxury handbag because I like to do my research first. Shout out to all of you who do the reviews on YouTube because you know I really love watching them make my decisions and stuff like that so yeah, this is the bag. Here you go. And it just looks like this. It's it's super cute for me. And I know this probably, like this style, is definitely probably an acquired taste. But again, it works for me. I feel like it is a bag that I will wear a lot. Just because, again, the size of it, the way it's held, all that. I tend to notice I do really like top handle bags. But I do not prefer to carry top handle bags. I think they're so cute and so feminine. But again, I just love a typical shoulder bag. And I know tote bags are considered shoulder bags, but they're too heavy for me. So I just wanted something a little bit more comfortable, a little bit more my style. And I felt like that was just a good purchase for myself. I will post some photos of here. Um, I'm sorry, I will post some photos of the bag. I know some people think this bag is like super ugly and stuff. I don't think it's ugly at all. Again, I think it's super cute. I think it's definitely unique. Um, I remember when Balenciaga bags, I think it was because of the Olsen twins. It was the Balenciaga city bag. This is like in the early 2000s. They just made like a huge like storm all over like you know websites and magazines and stuff like that like the Olsen twins I feel like were the ones who really like brought that bag to life I just like this bag so much more than the city bag I just feel like the way of carrying it is just so convenient so I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope this unboxing was helpful to you guys don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel before you leave and I will see you all very soon in my next video